Well, happy Sunday, everyone. It is a quiet night across the area. Finally, we can have a nice night where we can just rest easy out there. Clearing skies across the area. We've got a little bit of a breeze and temperatures. Yeah, they're cooling on off fast out there. We're down now into the upper 40s in Asheville. But notice the rest of the area is still in the mid to upper 50s. But those numbers will continue to cool tonight. And here's why. You can see the winds coming in out of the north and west. That's ushering in that cooler air mass across the area. And these winds are quite gusty at times, especially in the mountains right now, 20 to 30 miles per hour. Here's why we've got that cold front pushing on off towards the south and east. Again, the timing of that front was just perfect in terms of severe weather across the area. And now we can see the last of the rain and storms pushing off the coast there. Now we focus on this area of high pressure off to the west, that northwesterly flow ushering in this pool of cool air that's going to settle in across the area by tomorrow morning. So as you get ready to start the day, make sure the kiddos are bundled up heading out the door because most areas will be down into the 30s. I think low to mid 30s in the mountains. We'll call it upper 30s so right around 40 across the upstate. But either way, you're going to need some hoodies and sweatshirts again as we go towards tomorrow morning as that cooler air mass settles on in. But look at that. Yeah, that's sunshine. And we're going to be looking at a lot of sunshine as we progress throughout our Monday. So despite the cool start, we're going to see those temperatures returning back where they should be this time of the year, right in the mid 60s across the upstate and lower 60s for our friends in the mountains. Again, with full sunshine should be a beautiful Monday across the area. High pressure, though, we've got to track our next weather maker, keeping us safe for Monday and really for most of Tuesday. By late Tuesday, we'll watch some showers trying to creep in from the south, but I keep the rain chances fairly low as we go into your Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. But as we go into Wednesday, I think that's going to be the next day to focus on for our next round of more showers and thunderstorms. Could there be some severe weather? Yes, it's possible. We've got to fine tune the timing of this, but uh, we've lucked out with the last front or two coming in at a perfect time around midday. This one is showing that midday to early afternoon time frame, so we'll have to see exactly when that crosses through, but there will be showers and thunderstorms around on Wednesday as that next cold front moves through, and this will be a strong cold front. Behind it, the winds will be howling. It's going to be a blustery Thursday across the area, and yeah, look at that closely. Wouldn't be surprised if we squeezed out a snow flurry or two in the mountains there as we go into your Thursday. It's going to be that cold. Let me show you the temperature trends because we're going to go from spring to winter this week here. Of course, we've got the cool air that's going to build in for our Monday, but notice we warm it up ahead of this front going into your Wednesday, but then that front blasts through. Look at this. Yeah, this looks like a wintertime map. How about more February-like conditions instead of April conditions? Here's your four-day plus. Again, sunshine, mid-60s for your Monday. Rain chances small for your Tuesday. Impact day with widespread rain and thunderstorms Wednesday and then blustery and colder. Look at those lows in the upper 20s. That's in the upstate by Good Friday morning. And notice for Easter Sunday right now, we start to rebound, not looking too bad in the mountains. We're talking about hard freezes as we get towards the end of the week.